Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hi, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to install Cisco Unified Context on the Enterprise, a base software. Now, before you can configure router, logger, and all the components, you, you must first configure a base uh, Context on the Enterprise so uh, software, which provides uh, all the necessary tools and configuration um, utilities to uh, manage the system. So now that our database is ready, our Active Directory is ready, our next job is to install this particular software on the ICM Server A and Server B. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, log into Site A. So I'm going to go my, um, make sure you log in as a domain admin or a user account with the domain, uh, domain privilege. Now there, I will go to CC install uh, 1051 and then select ICM CCE uh, CCH installer and you want to go down to the setup section what the setup will usually do does a check to see if uh, SQL server and uh, all the con necessary components has been installed and if it is not meeting the criteria, then what's going to happen is the installation will fail and give you a warning uh, that certain um, requirement did not match. So it's going to do a check. And as you can see, it's giving you a kind of a um, message saying that SQL Server uh, R2 with service, uh, service provider is needs to be installed with a mixed mode authentication. Now you notice uh, we do have service pack one or higher because we have service pack three but what we don't have is a mixed mode authentication because we enable only windows authentication so i'm going to go ahead and correct this so for me to do this i must log into the server management studio go to security select login and we're going to select SA now first of all the SA needs to be enabled so let me go ahead and change the password first 